Mm-hmm. Good day, brothers and sisters, my viewers out there. I want to thank you for listening to me. I want to thank you for being interested in what we do. I want to thank you because it's because of you that we are here. We cannot be here if not for you. We are not here for nothing than to bring you salvation. Just like I said, your questions helps me make more research. Your questions lead me into more discoveries. Your questions will help me ask also the right question before the Father in the course of this service. If you can look around, you will understand that what we do is unique. We are not here to imitate anybody. We are here to present to the message the way we receive it from first-hand order. We are not here in mind because we want to know how much is in your pocket. We are here to remind you that your labors is not useful if not only for the work of the kingdom of God. And what is that kingdom of God? <coughs> is it the pastor in his church who opens his mouth and closes it at the end of the year, at the end of the month, until you die? Is that the salvation you get? Is that the salvation? So the primary purpose of the worship of the Father is just to clap, is just to backfire boomerang prayers, and after that we die and there is it. Then if that is all, then there is no God. So it is beyond that. The gospel, the salvation of mankind is beyond clapping and dancing and preaching in the church. It's beyond preaching on the streets. And if you can look expressly into the act of Jesus Christ as we claim or the name we are presented with, with the account in the Biblia Accra or the Bible or the book of the law, you will understand that he did, did some manifestations that are not ordinary preaching. That it was not just carry Bible and preach. He 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 did a work. So ask your pastors which work we are they called to do actually. Okay, we proceed. That brings us to today's lecture. A sister called me and said, My fiance is having spiritual problem. And whenever he is in the, if he closes his eyes to sleep, the spiritual wife will come and be showing him houses, money, this one. If he agrees to serve, that will be his own. And he has gone to discover and find out uh, that uh, uh, the thing, the spirit, they say is threatened. He called one to, the third one, he called the king. I say, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, no, uncle, wait, wait. You know, women, when they want to present a case, they are always in a hurry, you know. He said, no, uncle, wait, wait. What I'm trying to say is that um, uh, the kenga is, is disturbing, but I want to ask you, is this thing, does he have any biblical, is there any Bible quotation, is there any Bible teaching you can use to convince or to help me understand this Ikenga. Ah, I paused for a while in his jittering languages, 
in his nervous presentation, in his overwhelmed or constrained tone of act and, you know, body languages that I can feel his energy around me, even if he's on a, she is in a distant uh, 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 place. I can still feel the vibration of her, her energy around me and can feel the position that she is into. After that moment of silence, he said, but are you there? But are you there? Say, yes, I am here. Are you now ready to listen? He said, yes. And that discussion triggered this little and powerful exposition I am about to make today unto you. And that is what we call linking Ikenga to the Bible. What is Ikenga? I have asked this question before and I have taught this before in a previous video somewhere. But I want to now explain it again in the Biblia formula. In the Biblia formula. So that you can understand that what Ikenga is all about. And Ikenga in the Biblia formula is called the breastplate. The breastplate. That is why the ordinances, when we read the scriptures, you will understand why the ordinances are between here. The shoulder is a, so, is, is, is a shoulder ritual. It's not a spirit. I have discussed this in our language, in the formula of our culture. Now today, this my little sister have triggered me to make a research out of the Bible to teach you what Ikenga is all about. Now this breastplate, which is Ikenga, is in the is the front part of a shoulders a, a soldier's dress. Breastplate is, is the front part of a soldier's dress. Okay. And it, the reason for that breastplate is for protection. In cultural sense, it's been spoken of the breastplate of righteousness. Now, that is to say, the young men of Israel, when they come of age, have been initiated or instituted into the military. And now, before you go into the military, there will be this breastplate ceremony performed unto you. That is why you hear sometimes when the army of Israel go to war, they say 300 soldiers destroy a whole battalion. And when they counted their heads, they said no died, but they sustain injuries. Did you understand that? So that is the work of the breastplate. So the breastplate as a soldier, and then in the cultural sense, the breastplate of righteousness, which all saints should possess, protecting the vital organs against the evil things of life. That is what Ikenga stands for. That is what is called Ikenga in the Bible. That is what is called Ikenga in Israel. The breastplate of life, the breastplate of righteousness, which the saints, which is the Israel, uses, they possess it as a protecting element of the vital organs, such as the heart, such as the, uh, the, the, the shoulders, you know, most importantly, the face, the the, the heart, the shoulder, you know, and that of other, and as well as stand against evil things of life. It stands against evil things of life. So, such brass plate is not a spirit given unto man to keep. It's not a spirit that someone says, this spirit now, this is a kenga. I have gotten a kenga. It is not true. It is not the culture of Igbo man. Now, let us proceed. Let me 
before my analysis, let us proceed. It says, in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 59 from verse 17, if you read it, it will explain to you what, how the rituals of the brass plates of righteousness was discovered and from whence the science is made. The science behind the, 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 the brass plates for the protection is diluted in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 17 downwards or read Isaiah, the whole of Isaiah chapter 59, you will understand what that ritual means. The stones, the symbol of the stones, you will understand the, the brass plate symbols and why those of you who have done the proper ikenga, why the ritual is only done on shoulder. So it is a self strength, it is a self power is, or in other words, power of self, power of self-protection, the protective shield of self. That is what Ikenga stands for. <laughs> so, it's not a spirit that will say, come and embrace me and serve me. No, it is an ordinance in the process of the ceremonial culture. Did you understand that? I know someone is reading that uh, Isaiah right now. Then I want also someone to read the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14. You will understand the reason and the, the, the parts of the sword attire in the process of Ikenga. It is explained in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14 downwards, or you take your time to study the whole of Ephesians chapter 6, the brass plate of life. That is what Ikenga stands for. Ikenga, as I said, is not a deity, and I've always told you that the symbol of Ikenga is one of the, the craft of the Masonic order, standing and raising hand, the two hands up, which means total submission to the will of God. That is the symbol of a king. You stand and raise your two hands to the square. Total submission to the will of God. That is what a king stands for. That is why it is the protecting shield of righteousness. The protecting shield of righteousness. The protecting shield of righteousness. In, on, on a quick one, I would like to help you take an external reading of the book of Exodus chapter 28 to crown the demonstration of what it means when we talk about a king as the protective shield of righteousness. I would like to cite the book or the word in the record of Exodus chapter 28 and I would like to take the reading from that of verse 19 till the express line of verse 34. I want you to make that reading for yourself. You will also understand what Aaron was commanded to do and what the meaning and where the rituals of Ikenga is being derived. And uh, I want us to read a bit before I cut off. I might not read it to the end, but let us read a bit to see where we are heading to. And thou shalt make arches of gold, and two arches of pure gold, at the ends of a written work shalt thou make them, and fasten the written coins to the arches, written chains to the arches. And thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work, after the work of the offer. Thou shalt make it of gold, of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of fine twin linen, shall thou make it. Four square, four square, it shall be being doubled, 
a span shall be the length thereof, and a span shall be the bread thereof. To the amp here, here, come to your hair, to the amp here, here. Okay. Because when the amp is down, you can see it covers from the waist upwards. All right, verse 18 says, And the second row shall be an emerald of sapphire, the design of it. 21 says, The stone shall be with the names of the children of Israel. 22 says, And thou shalt make upon the brass plate chains of the ends of written works of pure good. 23, 24 says, And thou shalt put the two written chains of gold in the, in the two rings which are of the ends of the brass plate. And on the other ends of the two written chains, thou shalt fasten in the two arches and put them on the shoulder piece of the ephod before it. And thou shalt make two rings of gold, and thou shalt put them upon the two ends of the brass plate in the border thereof, which is the side of the ephod in wall. And two other rings of of the gold thou shalt make, and thou shalt put them on to the two sides of the ephod, underneath towards the footprint thereof, over against the other coupling thereof, above the curious ghetto of the ephod, above the curious ghetto of the ephod, above which is it comes to the navel, the navel now is the level, above the curious ghetto of the ephod. Remember, you who have done, you are a kinga. You know what that means by the circle. Good. We proceed. And, and, two, and thou shalt make two rings, 27 says, and two other rings of gold, thou shalt make them, and shalt put them on the two sides of the ephod, under, underneath, towards the four part thereof, over against the other coupling thereof above the curious ghetto of the ephod. 28. And they shall bind the breastplate by the rings thereof unto the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue that it may be above the curious ghetto of the ephod that the breastplate be not loose from the ephod. And Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel in the breastplate of judgment upon his heart when he goeth in unto the holy place of a memorial before the Lord continually. And thou shalt put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Tomim, and they shall be upon Aaron's heart when he goeth in before the Lord. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel upon his heart before the Lord continually. If you read down, read down, you understand the rituals that was performed towards the Sikenga. So this Sikenga is the secret that children of Israel goes to war and they do not die in war. Neither is the weapon of the enemy against or can stand against them. If you read down to 34, you will understand what we are trying to explain. And if you read also chapter 39 of the same Exodus from verse 8 to 21, you will understand also what we mean by the Apollyon activities as consigned the Ikenga. So Ikenga, I repeat, is not that there is a spirit given. No, it is a personal ritual performed to strengthen flesh and bone and to keep the body fit, protected against every evil attack against any evil trespasses, against the arrows of darkness that fly at night, against the rulers of darkness, against the principalities and powers of darkness, against every effort of nonsense-isms. I would like to take a reading from the book of Revelation chapter 9, from verse 9 downward, but I will read only verse 9, and allow you to make your tales of research alike. And they had breastplate as it were a breastplate of iron, 
and the sons of their wings was as the sons of chariot of many horses running to battle. Ten says, and they had tails like unto scorpions, and have, and there were stings in their tails, and their powers was to was to hurt men five moons. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name is the Hebrew, or whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue had his name Apollyon. You know, when you look at it very well, you will understand that they be, if you don't have the discernment of the spirit, you will think that the revelation is talking about the physical army you see. You're talking about the physical army you see. It's not. They exist. And the only thing that repels these forces as the, re, 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 revealed in the, in the book of, uh, 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 revealed by John, is why our fathers discover the science of Ikenga as was revealed unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, as, as was revealed unto Moses, who guided the children of Israel throughout their stay. Whenever Moses leads the children of Israel to war, they succeed. They will not die. Is it because of the power of God? But when they begin to violate that which causes it, you see them die because it is a law irrevocably decreed. And when that, when you anchor upon that law, all nature principles obeys you. That is what Ikenga stands for. Ikenga is that arm, arm of the law of God that strengthens mankind towards a successful existence and service to the Father. This is what I feel or I can give you today from this research and I want you to conclude it by reading the book of the first Thessalonica chapter 5 from verse 8 downward or read the whole of chapter 5 of the book of the first Thessalonica. You will understand why the king and the breastplate of righteousness is the same. So, if someone asks you what is a kenga in English, it's simply the breastplate of righteousness against the veils of darkness and evil world. That is just the definition of a kenga. It's not a spirit. So, it is a ceremony you must perform. It's a ritual you must perform. And when you have the kenga, you are, your enemy cannot always pull you down. He cannot. Hey, the, 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 the talisman and talisman caught me. It's not a person with a kenga. Uh, they went behind in my village to go and do one thing. I know can't get money again, I lie. It's not when you have a kenga. This is the truth. This is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I know the breastplate of life, the breastplate of righteousness is a principle of the gospel that all mankind must attain before they can be able to access the kingdom of the Father. I know all these things to be true, and I testify it to you, that it is our calling, it is our culture, to bring to the memory of our fathers the worship of our God, to our life, to our wives and our children. We want to give them liberty and freedom, that they might be able to live like men, and, and also like gods on earth. I know these things to be true, and I testify them to you, that if we are adhere to it, if we hold our culture responsible, Salvation is sure. The kingdom of the Father is sure. I know we cannot find salvation in the whim and the malady of the church room. We cannot find salvation in this echo logical history of this extortioner that call themselves pastors. We cannot find salvation in their hands. Salvation lies in our culture, the origin of mankind, the source of our existence. That is where the salvation lies. That is where the ritual that qualifies us that kingdom lies. It is not a craft, neither it is a working. It is a pure practical exercise of the decree, science, and the knowledge of all eternity. Thank you. I wish you well. Subscribe with us in our channel at Eastern YouTube.
on our YouTube, follow us on our Twitter handle at Amadeoha under slash emo. Ask us questions, follow us on Reels and Facebooks. We are there on Instagram. Help us to understand what is troubling you in the cultural line that you are following and we will help direct your footsteps. You know, all these things, if you have not performed a right, do not try to perform a right. And now, in conclusion of that, remember that the story came to the scripture where the devil came to Jesus Christ and said, look at the word. If you bow down and worship me, you will own these things. I will give it to you. Now listen. If you find such a spirit worrying you, be careful. It's not the good one. He wants to use you to come to earth and perform his evils. A true spirit will not show you wealth first before you come in. Now lie. So if you are being shown wealth, all part the wrong part. Oh. So what you need to do now is to do what you ought to do and transmit it to good. Or do what you need to do and bridge it. The service, we, don't, we are not shown glory before we go into service. It's not done anywhere. So if you're expecting them to show you uh, the whole world that you are going to gain before you know that you will come to the work of the Father, fa 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 fa, you fail. If you're expecting that uh, I must be driving Lamborghini and the whole Rolls Royce in the world and the whole car in the world will park in my compound and you believe that we are working, that is fa 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 fa. That is those material engagement that defy the order. The order is not after material engagement. That doesn't mean that the order does not have material possessions. It's not my personal property. It is for the Lord and for the work of the temple and the building up of the kingdom of the Father. It is our responsibility. So if you say you have a calling, the true time has come. <laughs> 